YouTube, Pink Lady T. Burgess, happen to be watchers of my shit. This is your girl, Jimmy Pink, and to all of those in the hip-hop community, either as artists or by proxy, quit giving Soldier Boy's trolling ass some goddamn attention, okay? Now, this is getting on my nerves, and I know I'm kind of falling into it, too, because if you would have told me in 2016 that on my YouTube channel that I would have any videos about Soldier Boy, I would tell you you was high, get up off that shit. But um apparently not. As you can see, I have on my bed clothes. I wasn't in clothes. Aren't these great though? It's so perfect for Christmas. I love the peanuts. But anyway, I um Wake up for my pink ladies, my tea birds. Y'all know my sleeping schedule is like hella erratic. So I wake up and I'm like, you know what? I ain't been going to see what's going on on Twitter. Let me just see what's popping in Soldier Boy is trending. I'm like, oh Jesus, what now? And I was already mad about him coming for Shia LaBeouf. Yo, hood passes revoked. Don't come to Atlanta. Shia LaBeouf is a fucking actor, dude. Shia LaBeouf just love hip hop. And was just like, yeah, I want to do the five things of death. I'm from New York. Like, this is a dream come true for me to do this. That got him a little attention because, lo and behold, Shia LaBeouf had bars. So that gave him a little bit of attention. He's having a little bit of fun with it. He's dropping, like, a couple freestyles on SoundCloud. Not even, like, trying to release a mixtape. Not even putting it on Apple iTunes or no shit like that. Just for fun. Like, oh, y'all really liked me on Five Fingers of Death? Well, I can do other stuff, and this is something I do as a hobby. Let me just go ahead and throw it out there and see what the public thinks about it. Soulja Boy, because one of the freestyles he says, he says something about Soulja Boy. And to my understanding, it didn't even really seem like it was a diss. But Soulja Boy, I'm calling it right now in 2000. Excuse me for that. In 2016, King Attention Whore, 2017, no higher, new, no no lower, goes to motherfucker Soldier Boy. You just surpassed Kim Kardashian as an attention fame seeking whore at this point. You causing beef. You keep having beef with folks, but then you start getting some beef with some real. What the fuck is going on? I hate when this freezes up like this. What is? Okay, sorry about that. You had some beef with some real motherfucking goons, some real hood niggas, some real street niggas, and you came out like motherfucking Dido waving your white flag. I will go down with the ship. I will put my hands up and surrender. So then you decide now to have beef with Sam Wick Wicky from fucking Transformers. What the fuck is wrong with you, soldier boy? Sit your lying capping ass down. You talking about motherfucking penthouses that you rented on Airbnb, but you just bought a penthouse. You got motherfuckers busting your ass because you wearing fake motherfucking jewelry. Like, here's the thing. And this has been coming up a lot in my videos. But this is somebody that I'm going to say the opposite about. Now, we have been talking about the mental illness thing and how people are using that as an excuse. Um, at this point, I'm not 100%. This is just Soldier Boy because he's been rich and famous since he's been a kid. I'm sorry. I don't think that's what it is. I think he has a fucking problem. Like, you are fighting so hard to be relevant. Boo, if you pay... Do what you do. Drop your little shit on SoundCloud. Keep doing your YouTube videos. You got a fucking fan base and just cater to them. You got enough money you don't need no more. Why do you need everybody's attention and why is you coming for everybody's fucking neck? Why is you just a habitual fucking liar for no reason? You paid. We know you paid. We was around for Crank That Soldier Boy. Unless you fucked up all your money, we know you paid. There's no way unless you're just a complete fuck up that you spent all that money. We know you paid. But you got the line say you just bought penthouses and shit like that. Okay, and who is you trying to impress? For what? You paid enough. I'm sure you getting all the Instagram model hoes and all the stripper bitches in Atlanta anyway because you paid. So why do you care? And you come and shy LaBeouf. So 
I was already mad at that, and I just tweeted about that. I'm like, I'm not about to do no video about this cat going at Shia LaBeouf. But then I see now you want to beef with Quavo from the Migos. Soldier Boy, in the past six weeks, you done beef with eight different people. Sit the fuck down. Go enjoy your money somewhere. Go do something that fucking matter or do something that don't fucking matter and just go to the strip clubs. Go to Sri Lanka. Go fucking skiing or some shit. I don't give a fuck what you do. Nobody believes you. You're killing your credibility, whatever credibility you ever had, because you ain't never had none with me. You ain't never had none with no real hip-hop motherfucker anyway. But you're garbage. And I wanted to say a couple things out of Shia LaBeouf's freestyle. And it was short. And this is the difference between Shia LaBeouf, an actor, who literally just said in his song, he's just doing this for fun and I'm not even going to do this no more. Which I really honestly, Shia LaBeouf, you better than that, boo. I wish you would have just not even responded. But it's cool. He says, <coughs> you have the demeanor of a vacuum cleaner. You suck. Wow. Then the other one, he said, you're not hip-hop. You're pop. You're oombop. What is it? Dude, you're an absolute fruit. You're a kumquat. And he's absolutely right. Like, you're not fucking relevant. So you're doing all of this stuff to make yourself relevant. Why don't you, who is your manager and shit? Like, you want to be relevant? Go on Dancing with Stars. See if you can get a guest spot on Empire. Do some shit like that. This beefing with everybody because what's going to fuck around is you're going to pick the wrong motherfucker that's for real, for real, reckless. And your life is going to be in danger, for real. And it ain't going to be all this yipping and yapping. You're going to get the wrong motherfucker with the wrong goon and don't give a fuck about going to prison. And there will be no more Soldier Boy. Like, I just... It's some bullshit, man. I should have almost said, like, open letter to Soldier Boy. Like, dude, whatever credibility that you did have in hip-hop... Which, like I said, was never for me, but I'm of a different time. I'm of a different era. However, I have an 18 year old niece who used to love your ass. She ain't bumping your music right now. She fucking with that Yachty. She fucking with that little, little Uzi Bear. She fucking with that Migos. She ain't fucking with your shit, though. I don't know too many other people that it is either. And why were you bullshitting your story? Really? You said Migos stole your style? I, I beg to differ. I'm pretty sure you stole theirs. Because I'm pretty sure you sound like every one of these little young niggas that just came out of Atlanta. Like, I'm pretty sure you copy them because guess what? We all heard Crank That Soldier Boy. We all heard Kiss Me Through the Phone. We all heard Y'all Trick Y'all. You wasn't fucking rapping like that, dude. So don't try to say somebody stole your fucking style. We know what your style is. You had three fucking albums out before this, dude. Not to say an artist can't evolve if that's what you want to fucking call it. But, that's like saying too short of all. Like, you're not that nigga. You're not that kind of artist. You ain't, you ain't talented like that. You lucked up with a motherfucking dance craze and you was young enough that you became a teen fucking idol. So, I agree with Shia LaBeouf, nigga. You're not hip-hop. You're pop. You're mm -bop. And you just trying to hold on to that last 15 minutes of fame. Let it go. Get, get your coin, honey, and spend your coin and live fucking life. Quit worrying about these Instagram models. Like, you started beef with little Yachty over a fucking joke. Yachty wasn't serious. Yachty, you know what? Now, you got me defending motherfuckers I don't even fuck with. I don't fuck with Yachty. I don't fuck with the Migos. I hate them motherfuckers. But you got me defending them because you is so bitch-made, pussy-made. Shut the fuck up, soldier boy. Just shut the fuck up. And I better... You better not... Listen, Paul, you, you tried to start beef with DJ Academics? Shut the fuck up, Soldier Boy. Like, you beefing with YouTube, motherfuckers? No disrespect to DJ Academics, but that's where I know you from. If you do more than that, I apologize, but that's where I know you from. You beefing with YouTube hip-hop news, motherfuckers? Shit, open motherfucking challenge. Challenge me, motherfucker, and I, I give no fucks. I quit rapping a long time ago. I ain't trying to get on this rapper. I'll bury your ass. You know why? Because you're fucking trash. 
your fucking trash. So this is what you do. You sit up. You get all that coin you get. Quit lying on your motherfucking money. Like, you rich. You ain't got to lie and pretend like you richer. You rich. We know you rich. We know your story. You had a fucking documentary with your non-talking ass. We know you have money. You ain't got to lie to kick it. Just be a 20-something-year-old kid with a lot of money and sit the fuck down and go kick it and spend your money. And while you at it, go see a fucking psychiatrist because in this case, you just popping off at the mouth. I'm not 100% sure. It's not because you do have some kind of disorder because you ain't just start doing this. You ain't just started doing this and the delusions of grandeur and the, the need to like habitually lie about shit Consider even though you are on a level where you are, it's easy for you to get caught because you in the public eye and you putting it in people's faces so people is catching you and lies every other day. You getting them beefs with motherfuckers that you can't back up. That's why you went after Shia LaBeouf. Because you like, well, he an actor. I know he ain't got goons. Don't believe that. That motherfucker is from New York and he got a lot of motherfucking, 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 blah, 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 excuse me, a lot of motherfucking money too. Them the motherfuckers you need to look for. He'll be the one, he'll have, he'll be the one to have goons to motherfucking get your ass. You just better be lucky. He kind of like a hippie. So he wouldn't. But them the motherfuckers that you don't fucking beef with. You want to beef with the rich white boy? That's the motherfucker that'll get you. Is you fucking crazy? Soldier boy, sit the fuck down. Just, you try to drop a mixtape with Bow Wow, Bow Wow backed out on your ass. Like, dude, I'm not, I'm not with all this. I ain't even got nothing else to say. So anyway, with that, with that being said, um, you can follow me on Twitter, at Jimmy Pink. Same way it's spelled here, Jimmy with an I, Pink with a Y. Um, also, if you are not a pink lady or a T-bird, subscribe today by clicking the Sailor Moon character that looks like me. And, um... This is...